Hi everybody, I am Bob. And I'm Lou. Welcome to Know Your PC. That's right. Today we are going to talk to you about the HP TouchSmart PC IQ500 series. And Bob is going to show us how to connect to the internet. That's right. Wirelessly and wired. And then once we get connected, I'm going to show you how to use the touch browser. That's correct. So, let's start. Let me show you how to get to the internet. Because that's the one thing everybody loves with the computer these days, is getting on the internet and checking out your favorite sites. So, uh, here is an ethernet cable. This is what most people connect to the internet with. It's, as you can see, a little bit fatter than a normal phone cable. The giant phone jack. Absolutely. Uh, now, this computer, the HP TouchSmart IQ500 series, only supports broadband connections. So if you do have dial-up, you will need to buy an external modem and it connects via a USB port, all right? Now, hold this for me, please. Sure. And I am gonna show you the connection area behind the PC. All right, and this right here is our little connector panel right here, and I'm gonna remove it. All the ports. These are, exactly, all our connectors. We're looking for the LAN, local area, network area. That's where we put our Ethernet cable. Oh, but you wanna put it through the fancy little area back here oh, because it keeps everything so nice good. and you're tidy. So good. Keeps your wires untangled. I taught her so well. You are learning my Padawan. <laughs> yeah. Thank right. you, here you go. You're welcome. So. And then there's a clip manager right here for this small space. Ooh, clip manager. What will those people think of next? All right. We're going to put our cover back on. See, it's all nice and neat here. I like that. Okay. I love it too. So let's turn. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. And we'll put... Oops. So Sorry. are we automatically connected? We are not automatically connected because I've got to go plug the other end into the back. Okay. All right. So, oops. So this is the other end, and you will need to connect this into your uh, your router, into your modem that your internet service provider provides for you, or into the wall, all right? So will you please assist me? I've got to sure. go around. All right. Here we go, off to the back of Studio D. This is Studio D. I can't believe we're back in the bowels of the earth. Everyone, don't look directly in the light. Where do you want this? I, uh, bring it down through here. <laughs> all right, down the bottom, thank you. Don't mind the cobwebs, and don't mind some of the locals, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so here is our cable box, and uh, this is also where our wireless modem is, and I'll show you how to plug that in later. But first, we're gonna plug our ethernet cable right into the box. Very easy, and let's go find the internet. Put your bathing suits on, everybody. We're going surfing! All right. Oh, hey. Hi. How's it going? Do you have cobwebs all over? <laughs> okay, so. All right, plugged it in there. So now you can see that the computers, this is the icon for the network connection. And uh, there was an X there before, and there is not now. They're like two little computer screens there. And they're talking to each other. Okay. So we connect via our web browser, and it's talking, it's thinking, it's loading. We have the internet. You're wired. Woo! High five, come on. Good job, All right. way to go. Now gonna, you are gonna show us how to do it wirelessly. That's right, so I gotta close that out. I'm gonna unplug it from the back so you guys don't go, oh, he was just using the wired connection. He wasn't really using wireless. No PC unit has a wireless card. Ha ha, this one does. Now we're ready to go wireless. Ding, okay. Where, are there antennas in here? Or there is, or see, like a laptop, there's a wireless LAN card in here and the antenna are up here. All right, as you can see down here, we are not connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mouse, I'm going to right click on the connection icon, connect to a network. Yes, I'm clicking that. Now we have already uh, set up our wireless network. If you don't have one at home, you need to go buy a wireless router, set it up on your computer. I'm not going to go into it, it's very simple. Oh, now we have uh, all these networks here. Exactly. This says unsecured network right here. So the network in Studio D is unsecured for our purposes of surfing the internet. This is Studio D. Absolutely. Now, of course, uh, there might be a security password, which means you would need to put in that password. Uh, a wireless router, uh, basically, if you guys don't have one, it's really easy to set up at home. I'm not going to show you. But it'll put out its signal, and you want to click on the one that is yours. So we are Studio D, like I said. We'll connect. And now the computers are going to start talking to each other. And now we're connected, so I will close. Successfully connected to Studio D. So now we can go on to the internet. We're connected. We're back on. Now I also want to mention real quickly, if you go and you put the arrow just over the computer's icon here, you'll see that it shows you the network you're on. It also shows you some green bars. Now, if for some reason the internet is, uh, you know, running slower or you're not, you know, getting as much data as fast as you normally are, it's because 
You might have some interference. The computer and the router might be too far apart, so you can bring them together. Or if you have a metal door or a microwave on. Turn it off. Turn it off, because that'll <laughs> interfere with our antennas and stuff like that, all right? So we're all good. So we are all connected. You got us wired and wirelessly connected. You're surfing the internet. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to use the touch browser. Yes. So to do that, let's launch the HP Touch Smart home screen. Okay, I'm gonna Little do that. house there. There we go. All right, and so you have the large tiles and the smaller tiles. Now that we have a connection to the internet, I would mm -hmm. like to use a website so that I could see it live, you Great. know, right there on the top. That's right, okay. okay. So to personalize that or to create that, you wanna touch the personalize button down there. All right. And then I'm going to add a tile. So touch add a tile. I want to choose a type, which would be a website. We want to go on a website, so we want a website. Okay, so now we're going to go to next. And then it says target up here, so I'm going to touch target, and I'm going to type in which website to go to. So where should we go? Well, I love watching videos, so obviously let's go to YouTube. Okay, so you must type in the www All right. to direct it. And then YouTube. Right here on the keyboard, mm -hmm. .com, you also have to type that in. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to touch OK because that's all done. See the OK lights up. That means we're ready to go. And mm -hmm. then it automatically launches right oh. here in the lower tile right section. Lower so tile. I'm going to drag and drop because I want it up here where I can Looks like a cute mini page time. of Isn't it. Isn't that nice? Yeah. See the live content? You see how that was all moving? Oh, it's streaming, yeah. Okay. Oh, cool? so this, yeah, so this is streaming live content. Exactly. Since so you right. got us connected, you can see what's happening all the time. Look at that. All right, I'm going to tap it. Bring it up full screen here. Done. So that's now personalized. So this is our touch smart browser window. Where do you want to go? Well, let's see if there's any competing videos for touch smart. I actually know of one. It is touch and fly done by our cameraman three, Sean, right here. So go to touch smart. Touch smart and then put fly. Fly? Yeah. Okay. So I want to show you something because if you take us right there, yeah. what's neat about this is you can actually scroll up and down with two fingers. All right, so you just put your two fingers here. Oh, let's see. So if you want to find it. Now, you see how that accidentally, uh, well, I did. They highlighted with the blue. Mm -hmm. It's because I used one finger. But you can, you know, take off this uh, highlight function by just tapping it once. Okay, great. You can also use the scroll bar on the right there. Go oh, ahead and okay. touch up and down there. And then the other thing is that this is going to be one of my favorites. So what happens here is we have a little star with a plus sign on it. So I'm going to touch that. It's automatically added to the favorites. And then there's another star right here without the plus sign on it. And that has all of my favorites. Okay, great. Okay. So did you find that video? Yeah, it's right here on the top. Touch it. And away we go. I'm going to make it bigger so we can watch it. Watch it in full screen? I love this. You're watching your computer on your computer. Isn't, Isn't that, that pretty nice? cool? Yeah. Okay, so we have shown you how to connect to the internet wired and wirelessly and how to use the touch browser. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. For teaching us. All right. And so if you guys have any more questions, obviously you can always go to hp.com slash touchsmart. You can also send us an email at knowyourpc at hp.com. That's right. Thanks for watching, guys. I am Bob. And I'm Alou. We'll see you next time.